Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at turning just about any device that can run Linux into a Proxmox thin client. To get started, download the Debian installation ISO and the Ventoy installer. Once the download's complete, open the downloads directory in File Explorer and extract the downloaded Ventoy zip file. Then navigate into the extracted folder and right click on Ventoy to disk.exe and run as administrator. Select the target device to install Ventoy to, then click install. Double and then triple check that you have the correct device selected. Once the installation completes, click OK and close Ventoy to disk. Copy the downloaded Debian installation ISO to the new Ventoy Flash Media device. Once the file copy completes, safely remove the Ventoy Flash Media device. Plug the Ventoy USB device into the target thin client and power it on. Bring up the boot menu and boot to the Ventoy USB device. Select the Debian ISO from the menu and press enter. When the Debian installer menu loads, arrow down to select install and press enter. Select the language. Select your location and the keyboard key map to use. After a few moments of loading, enter a host name for the device and optionally enter a domain name. When prompted to enter a root password, tap down to select continue and press enter. Enter a full name for the user account, then a user name, then enter and confirm the password for the new user. Select the time zone to be used for the device. Select guided, use the entire disk. Then select the target device to install Debian to. Leave all files in one partition selected and press enter. Press enter to finish partitioning. Then arrow to the left to select yes and press enter to confirm writing the changes to the disk. Wait a few minutes while the installer copies files. Then select the location closest to you and an apt mirror to use for your apt package manager. When prompted, select whether you'd like to participate in the package usage survey. At the software selection menu, arrow down to GNOME and press spacebar to unselect it. Then arrow down to LXDE and SSH server and use spacebar to select those for installation. Press enter to continue. Once the selected optional software has been installed, select yes to install the grub bootloader. Select the target device to install Grub2, usually Dev SDA. Wait while Grub is installed. When prompted, remove the Ventoy USB flash device and then click continue to reboot. The device should reboot into the new Debian install. Log in with the username and password set up during the installation. Now that we have a fresh Debian installation on our thin client device, we need to do some setup in Proxmox. Open a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. Once inside Proxmox, select Data Center from the left navigation, then under Permissions select Users. Click the Add button. Enter a username and set the realm to Proxmox VE Authentication Server. Then enter and confirm a password. Once completed, click the Add button. Select Permissions from the left sub-navigation menu, then click Add User Permission. Set the path dropdown to slash VMs slash the target VM ID. Then select the username at PVE user we just created. And finally, select PVE VM user as the role. With all the values set, click the Add button. We've now set up a role for our new PVE user to have access to view a specific VM. Next, we want to expand the Proxmox node name and select the target VM, then hardware from the sub-navigation menu. Double-click display to edit it. Change the graphic card value to Spice, then click OK to save the changes. Now we can start or restart the VM so it's ready for testing later. With the Proxmox user created and the VM configured, we're ready to configure our thin client to remote into a Proxmox VM when a user logs in. On the thin client, open a terminal session. 
Run sudo apt update to update the software repositories, and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Next, we'll install vert viewer and CURL, which will be used by the login script to create a spice connection on login, and I like to run apt clean to free the space used by the app package cache. Next, we'll create the script file that will be triggered on user login to create the vert viewer session. Copy the bash script from the video description or GitHub page, then paste it into the open nano in terminal. Then scroll to the top of the script and edit the username, password, and node names as needed. Save the changes to the script file and exit nano. Next, we'll use chmod to make the script executable. Then we'll edit the lightdm configuration file in nano to allow the username to be selected from a dropdown. Press Ctrl W and search for greeter hyphen hide hyphen users equals false. Delete the pound sign at the start of the line to uncomment it, then save the changes and close nano. Next, we're going to create a new local user on the thin client that will remote into the Proxmox VM on local login. Enter the username and leave the password blank. For the full name, enter a description of the VM that will be logged into. This is what will be displayed on the login screen. Next, we'll edit the pam.d comp file to allow users in a specific group to log in without a password. Add the line from the video description below the first line in the comp file, then save the changes and close nano. Next, we need to create the VDI users group that we're allowing to log in without a password. Then we'll add the local account we just created to the VDI users group. With the local user and group created, we need to set up LXDE to trigger the thin client script on login. We'll create a backup of the default LXDE login configuration, then create an empty file in its place. Then create a local config location for the current logged on user, and copy the backup of the original LXDE config file to this new directory. Then we'll use the su command to authenticate as a local VDI user. We'll create a user specific LXDE config directory for the VDI user, then create an auto start file in the new directory. Finally, we'll paste in a call to the thin client script we created earlier with an argument to the Proxmox unique VM ID. This will be triggered when the user is selected from the LXDE login screen. We're ready to exit out of the VDI user shell and reboot the thin client. The local VDI user we created should now be showing on the LXDE login screen, and when selected, our thin client script will run and create a vert viewer session to our remote Proxmox VM. We can then authenticate into the remote Proxmox VM seamlessly. The same process can be reused to create additional VDI users and add them to the LXDE login screen to allow remoting into different Proxmox VMs simply by selecting them from the dropdown on the login screen. Please show the original creator of this process your support. I've linked to the original video and his channel in the description. He's got some really great Proxmox content that I think you'll enjoy.